my name is Martin Mwangi. I'm the program lead of the Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies Consortium, which is hosted by the Micronutrient Forum. I will quickly take you through the next uh, five minutes on uh, and introduce to you the uh, advocacy toolkit that has been developed by the Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies Consortium. And I will start by also saying that uh, the Healthy Mothers, Mothers, Healthy Babies Consortium is a consortium of over 90 organizations and individuals who have collectively come together to advocate for the health, the health of mothers and, and, their, and their babies. And so one of the needs that was identified is um, the, uh, you know, the need for the, 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 there is a need for a well-curated, well-developed science and evidence-based toolkit that our national actors can use to advocate for multiple micronutrient supplementation. So the question is why and do we need this toolkit? And um, the, the truth is at the moment, most countries are still having iron and folic acid as a program in their antenatal care centers, in their health centers. Unfortunately, only that eight percent of women uh, receive ninety or ninety or more iron and folic acid tablets during their pregnancy, which is actually the minimum recommendation. And only fifty-nine percent of pregnant women attend four antenatal care visits. And you will recall that since two thousand and sixteen, the World Health Organization now recommends that pregnant women must at least meet uh, the antenatal care clinic personnel for at least eight times. And therefore this increases the gap of, um, you know, the, the contact points are way fewer than recommended. Each year we have over 20 million babies being born with low birth weight. And we know low birth weight is one of the markers of poor maternal and fetal nutrition. And then we have tragedies that have happened, you know, COVID-19, which has uh, led to uh, worsening uh, uh, access to quality diets and, and services and is decreasing the, uh, it, it's, it's leading to worst case scenarios when it comes to the statistics that got to do with mothers and their babies. We have wars happening. We have climate change also happening. And so, for example, if I zero, zoom in on the COVID-19 pandemic, um, it has already compounded uh, the, 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 the problem. And so far, the Standing Together for Nutrition uh, program, uh, which is also one of the programs under the Micronutrient Forum, uh, they estimate that with the, the COVID-19 pandemic alone will result in an additional 283,000 child deaths over the next three years, which translates to around 250 child deaths per day. 13.6 million wasted children and high, uh, with a high risk of death and then 3.6 million children with lifelong physical and cognitive impairments due to stunting. And an additional 4.8 million more women afflicted with anemia. And so this tells you why we cannot um, sit down and not advocate for the health of mothers and babies, especially at country level. And then the next question you probably will ask me is then why MMS and what is MMS? Now, the United Nations International Multiple Micronutrient Antenatal Preparation of Multiple Micronutrient Supplements. Now that's the name it's given, that's not my name, it's called Unimap MMS, but for ease of conversation, let's just call it MMS going forward. Um, this is an antenatal supplement uh, for pregnant women. And it contains 15 essential vitamins and minerals for pregnant and nursing women and meets micronutrient requirements that poor diets really cannot meet. Iron and folic acid that has uh, traditionally, and you know, that most countries usually roll out has only these two, that is folic acid and iron included in, uh, you know, in, the, in the composition. What we are saying is that WHO already now recommends uh, MMS and it has already been found to be effective. It is safe, it is affordable, and it's also cost-effective at country level. And the recommended dietary allowance for MMS is just one uh, tablet per day, which is the same for women in USA and Canada. So really, um, it's not a very difficult uh, intervention to give because it's comparatively, it's just like IFA, but in, with more micronutrients, uh, vitamins and minerals. The toolkit that we are launching today um, has four major components. But the first one, which is actually a PowerPoint presentation, 
which is adaptable and which can be used to advance multiple micronutrient supplementation at a country level is where the, the, the focus mainly is. We have six modules in the uh, PowerPoint presentation. And these modules are designed such that the user can actually pick, you know, cherry pick whatever you need and go to a, a meeting and use it to uh, present it and use it to advocate for MMS. It can also be that you just need to adapt it. So they are also adaptable. You can just quickly download the PowerPoint, adapt it and use it for your presentation. And then, uh, and I will come back to this uh, slightly later. For now, I want to say that we also have added three other documents that you might need for your meetings or for your conferences or for your you know, briefings with community members. So we have one, which is a MMS advocacy brief. And this one uh, gives everything from the global scope of maternal malnutrition, going all the way to where you need uh, MMS. Is it safe? Is it affordable? Is it cost effective? and how, how can it be implemented at local level. We have another one, which is actually a frequently asked questions on MMS. We have noticed over time, there are questions that keep coming back. And therefore we just compile them in a frequently asked uh, questions brief, which you can then uh, use to familiarize yourself with which questions might you expect and what might be the answers but you could also give it as a flyer to uh, the stakeholders at your meeting, whether you are meeting a government official, whether you are meeting uh, your students at the university or at the, at the colleges or at nursing schools, whether you are meeting um, implementers of programs for at NGO level, or whether you are meeting even uh, chiefs or, or even traditional leaders who, are, who just have questions about MMS. The other one is obviously a question that might come, like where did you get that material? And that's from Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies. And that can now tell you about the, the consortium of members and why or the approach we use and why we develop the fact sheets. And then you can know how to answer them. Now, let me point out that this toolkit has also, is also being translated into French and Spanish. And we look into also translating it to Arabic so that all users um, worldwide can be able to use them. So just two slides to explain to you how you might be able to use a PowerPoint presentation. So please use the PowerPoint presentation, which has over 60 slides to, to facilitate the, your dialogue and create a consensus around uh, MMS. So this is really a, a, re a resource for anyone wanting to communicate the evidence and benefits of MMS and therefore, you should feel free to go to the HMHB website and download it, save it in your computer and periodically or adapt it to your country. You can use uh, local data, local statistics to adapt it, uh, but some sections are about global information, so you don't need to change those. So it's really um, an, an adaptable resource for you to use. Um, you can also customize the dialogue about our surrounding MMS and make make it relevant for your audience. So what you can do is that you will note that in each of the, uh, of the modules, there are parts where you can add your own words so that you can make it, like you can also add your own speaking notes so that you make it more relevant for your audience. And if it's in French, you can add your speaking notes in French. If it's in Spanish, the same thing. If it's in English, the same thing. And also remember that um, one of the questions that is going to keep coming back is about, okay, is it really worth it to invest in this at country level? What is the budget? Does it have an, a, an investment case for our country? If I take a country, for example, like uh, Malawi or even Kenya or even Mali, um, government officers might want to know, uh, have you tailored these to our uh, country level statistics and data? And yes, in the PowerPoint presentation, there is somewhere you can use a tool plug in your country level data, for example, population data, and then you will get uh, very specific details about your country and you can therefore use that data for advocacy at your own country level. So who are we targeting with this advocacy toolkit? So first it's advocates and public health professionals. If you know at any time that you usually advocate for maternal health and you have been looking for a presentation that you can quickly use, adapt and use, then this is a toolkit for you. And for example, the PowerPoint presentation for you, you can use all the modules A to E. 
it's your, it's your choice. Also, we have national health officials and non-governmental organizations um, who usually want to, for example, um, advocate for increased budget to the nutrition uh, department or approval for certain programs, including rolling out and scaling up MMS programs, then you can use this PowerPoint presentation and all the modules will be relevant to you. We also have uh, as a micronutrient forum, but also some of the consortium members at HMHB are from uh, academia and research partners. They also can use this either to teach about MMS to their students, but also to for writing grant proposal, presenting about this, but also for advocating for MMS at, at, uh, in their own countries. So uh, modules B to D might be very useful for this for you in this case. And also we have for local providers and distributors. So in summary, um, why this toolkit? We want to facilitate dialogue, create consensus, customize the MMS dialogue and adapt this communication to your audience at your country level, wherever you might be joining us from. What kind of topics can you think, can you find in these toolkits? You will find things about pregnancy and nutrition, about maternal malnutrition, the scale and scope of this in your country, but also globally. Evidence on maternal malnutrition supplementation, national impact, and whether MMS is, an, is a good investment case for your country, how to introduce and scale up MMS in your country. And we have even added a case study on Indonesia where we have walked you through how Indonesia could use um, this, tool, this toolkit to advocate for MMS at Indonesia, in Indonesia. So as I said, for, uh, for health officials, public health professionals, researchers, academia, local pro uh, producers, providers, and distributors of MMS, everybody can use this toolkit. As you use the toolkit, if you come up with suggestions or you know, for improvement or anything that you think you can communicate to us, I think our team has posted there our contact address. Feel free to use it to join us. Uh, lastly, thank you so much for joining us today. For giving